Hi there everyone, Dictator Nature here, and today I'm going to be talking about hydras. Take a look at how cool that thing is. Look at him, just waving around in the wind. He's saying, hello, welcome to my channel, subscribe if you want to. And they've got six of those little arms there, and a stock and a foot that they attach to. Here, in this case, it's the glass, but they can do anything from moss to plants to filters and glass and all that crap, okay? Now, the main reason that they can get into your aquarium is through, take a look up top, see all that moss there? So if you have moss in your aquarium and you just ordered it from someone and it's golf ball portion of moss or java moss or whatever, ooh, hi, Pleco, this is my bristle nose, he likes it. Anyways, back to the hydras. If you have moss, chances are they were grown from a wholesaler's. Uh, so what they do is take a vat, put a bunch of dirt in it because it's nutritious for the moss and then they just let it grow. So they could be anything from bird poo, animal poo, people poo, fertilizer, wood, dead fish, a bunch of other crap in the soil and then they just let it grow and then when you order it, they take a golf ball portion and then they pack it into a bag and ship it to you. It's very hard to do quality control on moss because who wants to spend their Saturday afternoon combing through a portion of moss for you. Uh, looking for hydras, right? So the best way to remove this is what I call the suck with suction. A syringe is the best way to remove this pest here. You can cut off the leaf that it's sitting on but what you don't want to do is you don't want to cut it up. You don't want to squish it with the tweezer because it will just grow and grow and grow again because it can regenerate. It's like a hydra from the Greek mythology, right? Okay, so um, they say that they can kill dead f or you, they can kill fish fry. They can kill shrimp. Never had that happen before. Uh, so if you did have experience with that, leave a comment and... The thing is, I just think they're so cool. You know, I like snails. I like that there are snails. Look at all the bubbles on that, on that Rotala. There, yeah, it's beautiful. I like snails. I have a bunch of snails in my aquarium. There's one right there. I, I like it. I do. I like them. I think they're cool. But some people don't like them, so that's how, anyways, that's how we remove it. And let me show you exactly how I actually do it. Okay, and, uh, I figured I might as well show you what they are like in, uh, and I can already tell this is not going to look too well for me. It's not going to work too well for me, but what the heck going to do it for the likes, going to do it for the views. So I have a syringe head here and I'm just going to show you what happens when I disturb them. I haven't begun sucking yet. Oh no, where'd it go? But see how the tentacles have sort of shrunken. They're not there anymore. Okay, now we're just gonna remove this buddy here. Oh, that's a good shot. And then they come out after a while. See that? How cool is that? Gonna put it on top of him. And he's gone. Into my syringe. And there you have it, folks. See the hydra in there? This is the easiest way to remove your infestation if you don't want them in your tank because there are no chemicals that you have to add in there. There are no other things that you have to do. It's just a syringe. You can do it with a straw if you wanted to and just suck up the water. Not with your mouth, but like stick the straw in, let go of the top, and that'll suck things up. Anyways, best part about this is you don't spend any more money than you have to. And I already talked about it, but you can save money 
with a planted tank. Imagine that, saving money. Who am I kidding? You can't save money with a, with this hobby. It's all just spending money and electric bills and CO2 refills. and Anyways, I'm going to be spending the next couple minutes around uh, looking around my uh, aquarium tank for more. And uh, thanks, you guys, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something new, go ahead and smash that like button. I'm just kidding. You can subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next video.